Hi guys, welcome to my full review about the SJ Cam SJ6 camera. It's not totally new, but it's rather new. It's one of the latest models in the mid range price segment. So I compare this mostly to the GitHub Git 2 which is at a similar price range, a little bit lower price but very similar. So and both have excellent picture quality, video quality and gyro stabilization. So these are in my uh, yeah based on my opinion these are probably the best best price uh, for for what you get or the best value for the money so yeah I have bought the SJ6 Legion I think it was called somehow Pro Edition so it came with uh, all the extras with the mounts with the waterproof case uh, the uh, touchscreen back uh, back door and so on so it was about when I bought it it was about a little bit more than 150 dollars of course it will drop over time uh, yeah basically you have apps um, I the only thing I haven't tested is the app because I connect always by the mini USB cable sometimes I take out the micro SD card which is here but it's uh, actually the easiest way for me to plug in the mini USB cable um, and yeah plug it into the computer and then select uh, mass storage here on the um, touch screen so that's the easiest thing so yeah you have you probably know about all the features I don't have to tell you I'm just showing my full review uh, except some pictures I don't uh, I, I, I'm not doing picture comparison you will find a lot of movie comparisons or picture comparisons to other cameras I won't do that you find them uh, a lot so what I do I will just uh, show you how it works and what the advantages and uh, some disadvantages are so here you turn it on that's quite easy you just push and hold and then it comes on with the usually with the uh, last functionality I think you can tell the camera with which function it should start so basically you have the two inch uh, screen which is really good it's bright you can see it in sunshine uh, outdoor no problem at all if you want to switch from video to photo just push here and then you can select the functionality like video lab slow rec still photography so we can make pictures now you can see that okay takes a little bit yeah too long somehow in based on my opinion but it, it, it's, it's the same with most of the action cameras so no complaints so far you can make video labs uh, slow rec photo labs burst mode what I've been using is the photo labs for like um, watching clouds made some video labs uh, if you don't want to make uh, I mean usually you want you will make video labs but photo labs is a good thing too because then it's easier to make like uh, capture lightning and such things and then I, I stitch together the whole movie in the movie maker so you have other options video photo car mode underwater which will correct the um, color as far as I know so here you have the different options here on the left side you have the play so you can either push on one of the arrows or you can just swipe to switch uh, yeah to scroll through the 
images and videos and of course you can delete delete one delete all um, yeah or you can even format your SD card which is useful too um, yeah you can't zoom in it's not a, like a multi-touch thing it's just one touch and the thing is the disadvantages are a little bit the buttons are rather small so you have to really press exactly at the right location especially uh, here with the um, yeah with this wheel uh, the settings I have I, I have been a little bit struggling with that so sometimes it was a little bit difficult but mostly it works good you have different options with the screen you can turn off all the information just push in the middle and so you can turn on turn off and also there's um, when you have the video you can turn on or turn off the microphone directly here so uh, I'm not oh I push something um, yeah uh, okay turn off turn on turn off is not bad but I like actually something where I can adjust the volume of the microphone because when you switch uh, with the case then you need higher volume so I, I I missed that little bit but it's okay so it's so good so and you have a lot of information about the mode you selected and the remaining time uh, some options you did uh, and the uh, gyro stabilization when I hold it still it's not showing when I move it around you see it's uh, yeah the gyro stabilization was activated and the gyro stabilization works really good you find other videos on YouTube I don't have to show it to, it to you it's similar uh, it's really state-of-the-art and it's similar to the GitHub Git 2 which was the top top notch before uh, they came up with the SJ6 legend what you have also on the main screen is some kind of toggle uh, you can activate the Wi-Fi uh, the remote control uh, can't remember what that is and you can lock the screen uh, the uh, uh, yeah it, it's I, I don't know I don't really know why it's used I mean what uh, what's the sense of this it's totally locked I mean you can't even activate something with the buttons uh, maybe there's a situation where you can use that and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to to re uh, to unlock I was hoping for some functionality to disable the touchscreen and just have the buttons activated so because sometimes when you uh, move it around and then you uh, tape uh, touch on it on the back and then you uh, just by uh, yeah just by chance you you activate some functionality so that had been good I, I haven't found anything just the activating the touch screen that had been a good thing but I heard that SJCam is doing some updates from time to time and maybe they will add this functionality so basically as I already told you you have the different functions like mostly video or still recording here and with every functionality you have selected you can you have uh, settings too so this means this is the settings for the um, video so you have everything like audio bitrate sharpness color all the different settings but what I a little bit missing is the information what is already selected so um, yeah the, like the resolution I have no idea on this screen which resolution I have picked I have to go to the details and see there's a red um, like uh, this edge red edge where you can see I have selected 1080p with 30 frames when I switch it you can see uh, yeah here 
50 frames I go back to 30 frames so but you don't see it on this menu what you also have is this uh, setting here this is not based on the functionality it's just the uh, setting of the camera so that means daytime um, language um, TV mode yeah uh, light set screensavers frequency you can put a logo um, yeah or put it back to default setting so that's uh, I show you these still camera settings they look a little bit different like they have image size exposure time delay capture quality sharpness uh, sometimes some of these settings you will have to in the video but not all of them of course because they don't make sense with the video so this is regarding all the settings they are really intuitive uh, intuitive uh, not too difficult also with the buttons they have just three buttons but they work much much better than with the github it too because you have not only a forward scrolling you have some backward scrolling like can't remember exactly what I, I because um, I didn't use it them too much so I don't know all the buttons uh, so I just try this and but here you can go uh, like forward and here you can go back in the menu that's good so th this you don't have with the um, uh, uh, get up git 2 um, that's really a good thing so and if you want to select something you press here and if you want to go back that's here I don't know how it works with the um, with the case you probably have to pick an option and then go back so I think you can't leave uh, without selecting anything that's a little bit bad or you just hold, push long and then it turns off so yeah I think there's no possibility to quit so yeah uh, but I, 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 even though uh, I, I think it's a little bit better than the, the get up get two or other cameras so let's put here, here that's easy to uh, remind uh, remember these settings is here and you have the button here okay if you just need these settings so you push this and then you can switch from different settings like the camera setting or the uh, like you the the camera settings and here you can leave or I think it was possible now it's a little bit stuck yeah okay that works so yeah basically here you have the different uh, functions and at the button button uh, this yeah the button button <laughs> that's the setting okay good so far I mean yeah okay when you want to leave with the same functionality you yeah, just pick it but there's really no like escape or something like that but it's it's no really big disadvantage or something like that and you have the on all the sides you have the lights so you see what's going on if it's recording or what it's doing and also in the front you have this small LCD which is showing some information but let, look at this the 16 megapixel thing this is so small if you look from this distance it's almost impossible to see it it's such a big LCD why did they choose to make this so small also the time is so tiny it's so small I don't understand why they did it so small uh, yeah but it is as it is so we have to um, take it or leave it so yeah the camera so far good quality uh, I think it's good menus good functionality good quality everything the only thing when recording videos I can show it to you 
I just start the video and then stop it and go to play it says busy yeah usually doesn't doesn't uh, work like this I don't know what yeah I had this problem some time before oh no it's uh, I, I haven't stopped the video that's the problem I start it again it takes some time till it starts it seems to take some time so I start and stopped again so I go to play and when I start it maybe you, you can hear the beep and also when I stop it can you hear that? okay that beep that annoying beep and sometimes uh, some annoying clicks are really recorded on the video file I have no idea why this is the case and why they didn't get rid of this maybe it will uh, I can get rid of it with a firmware update I have to see but at the moment this is really something absolutely annoying and actually a no-go so yeah regarding the outside I mean I turn it off uh, here you can see on the side we have the microphone speaker uh, HDMI cable mini USB and the micro SD card it's well built it's a little bit heavier than uh, other cameras but it has more uh, functionality so it yeah they maybe they had to build it a little bit heavier also we have here the uh, mount the tripod mount the battery case is a little bit more difficult to open than other ones it you have to push a little bit so okay it opens and here you have this latch this is really a neat thing that the latch is attached to the battery I haven't seen something like that many times it seems even after recording many times the battery is still flat it's not like it doesn't have a bubble or something like that or does it have a little bit yes yes I have tested this at the beginning and it didn't have any kind of bubble and now it's showing some signs of bubbling even when I haven't used it uh, in the um, direct sun or something like that or for a longer time in a case so it has built some kind of bubble and some people have been complaining when they had when it uh, yeah it built like a huge bubble it cracked the LCD screen so that I will have to talk about probably with the manufacturer that's a little bit strange maybe I have the other battery here as well so I can test this that's the extra battery which came also in this special edition so I'm using now the spare battery yeah it's I think it's a little bit easier to push in and pull out compared to this one not extremely but you can feel the difference so I will definitely have to talk to the manufacturer about this so uh, yeah and I'm not, not the only people really um, other have been complaining too so yeah what we have here um, yeah it's in back in so we close this and we have this really nice case where you can use the um, yeah there's the there's no limitation regarding buttons touchscreen and um, microphone of course so I haven't used that uh, too much I have tested it once and it was not so difficult so yeah it's always difficult when you do it on live or recording so okay 
that's easy enough and yeah we have this case this is really a good thing um, most of the uh, mounts I don't have to explain to you these are more or less standard uh, the case is a little bit um, special it's more secure it, 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 it's heavy it's um, it seems to be quite sturdy I've been using it I gave it to my daughter and she used it in the uh, the beach in the sand and I you can you were able to hear that it, there was some sand in it but I was uh, it was easily possible to uh, wash it out so now it's in perfect shape again so you can put it in that's very easy and yeah you just close it as much as you can and then there is this special closing functionality I mean this is really tough you can feel there's some this is really tough it, it's closed and it will never open just uh, by chance uh, but of course it's much more difficult to open again so the GitHub Key 2 case is much easier um, to handle than this one here we have the touch screen here we have the um, yeah the, the touch screen lid our back door is only good for about um, can't remember maybe three meters this more stable thing is up to 10 meters um, yeah I was hoping to have a little bit better touchscreen functionality with this back door so I can show it to you um, I mean with the regular back door there is no absolutely no touch uh, touch uh, what, what is it doing it's not starting oh yeah, yeah. Uh, with the standard back door there is no touch screen uh, no touch functionality available with the thinner lid it uh, breaks a little bit easier you can really feel it's a little bit moving you have to be a little bit careful you can't dive as much uh, as you can do with this one like uh, 30 meters or so um, but you should be able to touch but you have to really touch f uh, really firm I mean you think you will almost break it so especially at the edge so when you want to change some settings you have to push really hard so and then I think if uh, I am a little bit fearing that I could compromise the waterproofness of this uh, touch uh, touch screen uh, back door so I don't know if I will use it a lot because it's really easy to work with this button so probably I will work most of the time with this uh, back door so yeah and I shut it off now so there is not much more I'm yeah there are some bugs like the clicking strange clicking or beeping at the start and end of the video some limitations of the touch screen but really it's a really good overall it's a really good uh, camera I'm pretty sure that it, it's the best or one of the very best cameras in this price range so I can give full recommendation so far um, yeah that was it I hope I was able to help you a little bit if you want to decide which camera to buy if you like my video give me thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time